In today's project, we're gonna work on this metal box, metal toolbox. First of all, I gave it a, a light sanding and a prime it using clean metal primer. Then I'm gonna give it one coat of chalk paint by Country Chic Paint, the color licorice. Time works tissue paper what I'm gonna use for this piece. So I'm applying decoupage gel first just to attach my tissue paper to the piece. Then I'll keep applying underneath it and above it. I love working with this tissue paper. I don't have to worry about any wrinkles, bubbles or ripping the tissue paper because it comes a little bit thick. Even that line in the middle, I can also get rid of it by pulling the paper a little bit down and so I can have a smooth surface. And I'm gonna keep doing the same process to the whole front part. After I covered everything, I'm gonna make sure that I clean all the extra uh, gel. For the door, of course, there is a handle. I need to make sure that there is an opening for it. So I'm using my cutter just to cut through it and adding a little bit extra gel. So this one will not peel or anything. And I can wipe down all the extra gel around it. It will be sticky a little bit, but it's all right. I'm just gonna add a little bit decoupage gel on the edge so my tissue paper can stick to the piece. And for the edges, it's easier for me to cut it with a cutter than a scissor because I want it to have a sharp line, sharp edge. So I'm gonna use the uh, Tina Effect paste. It's a brass because they have different colors. All I'm gonna do is spread it around and of course I'm gonna add the copper wax. Look at this color, it was amazing. I was really surprised with the color, it's really copper. And I'm using the uh, Patina Effect 2 wax by Prima. It's the green one. So I'm just gonna layer those colors, but I'm gonna give them an hour in between layering so I don't mix them up and I will have that patina look.
And now I'm gonna add a little bit paint, uh, of course, chalk paint on top of that, so I can have a little bit texture. The more I add, the more texture I'm gonna have. If I don't want it to blend the colors that I have, I just let, have to let it dry a little bit, then add my other paint or wax on top of the previous or the original color. And to my favorite part, uh, because the piece I'm working on is metal, I thought I can create my own magnets using the molds. All I had to do is add some wax to it and create that rustic look and glue my magnets to the back of it and boom, I have my own magnets. How cool is that? Sometimes you can have a little bit extra resin dry with your mold. You can clean that easily with a cutter. And for the magnets, I ordered them from Amazon. I protected my piece after it was done with water-based uh, poly polyacrylic. I can't pronounce this one. I always pronounce it wrong. <laughs> anyway, it's up coat to protect it. And look at that. I can move my mold anywhere or redesign or design them the way I want. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like it and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to my channel for more videos, more techniques and more fun and projects to do together.